Hi everyone, it's uh, about 10 o'clock on Mac Island on the 14th and I wanted to do another race update. So as you know, Infinite Diversion finished earlier. Um, right now, we uh, I just came up to the room from um, from the race committee trailer and we could see WindQuest uh, just on the other side of the bridge when I left. I, I, this says they're going 6.6 .6 knots right now. That's not impossible. Um, it would be quite a puff of wind versus what I've seen because out in the straights for the last couple of hours, it's been glass calm. So um, I don't know if this is temporary or not, but it has been slow going for uh, for WindQuest for the last couple of hours here. So um, I've seen speeds as low as 0 0.9 knots. Um, so they're working their way. They're going to finish next. I mean, hopefully in the next. Boy, if they go, if they're really going 6.6 .6 knots. It'll be an hour or less. Um, if they're going the 0.9 knots we we're seeing earlier, it's four hours from now. So um, see what happens. Um, El Mastro is a couple of miles behind. They're going 1.1 knots right now. That's more like the speed I've been seeing from WindQuest. And as we go back a little bit, you can see these boats are getting a little bit of wind, 5, 6 knots. So that, that's great that they're making some distance there. Uh, again, it's just glass calm right out here in the straits right now. So I don't. I think people are going to have a hard time finishing. One thing that I want to point out, a theme that I've been hitting today, has been about going left versus going right. And I just want to see if this is still the same. Yeah, so stripes right now, remember they w jibed and went out to the uh, west side of the course. They're going 10.3 knots. Right now they're flying versus these boats over here. So this is Ocean and Andrew 77 is going 2.7 knots. So we continue to see really more velocity over on this side of the lake. And uh, we don't see that as consistently as we did earlier today. So um, backing up in the fleet a little bit, we've got some boats going uh, through the Manitous. They're going kind of slow here. Um, uh, four knots for Main Street, which is uh, J145. is well, That's a little slow for Main Street, but uh, so lots of light winds uh, through the Manitous, which we thought was going to be the case today. Um, boats approaching the Manitous are going okay. You know, there's lots of sort of four knots, five knots, nothing great, but not bad. Um, <coughs> and uh, as we get back here, sort of off of Point Betsy, boats that were just dying earlier today, uh, like Maggie May, the Benetou 36.7 are up to closer to five or six knots of boat speed. So that's a good sign. Um, going back to my left versus right theme, let's just check this Benetou 40.7 thing we were looking at earlier today. And uh, I haven't looked at this for a while, but let's uh, take a look. So remember, we looked at Sociable, um, 4.8 knots now, and Broderi is going 6.6. .6. Wow. Um, over here on the west side. And compared them to... Das Boot, who's doing great at 5.8. So not as big of a difference as yesterday, but still faster over here, um, at least on Broderi. 4.9 on Vayu, 5.4, 5.3, 5.2. So we're still looking in a lot of cases, not all cases, another knot of boat speed over here. We're getting higher boat speeds, as you saw up over here, meaning the wind's maybe a little bit more up in this area now versus over here. So... Moral of the story is light winds in this part of the course that I'm sort of circling right now up through the straits. So Manitou, um, Manitou's up through the straits of Mackinac, really light winds. Um, looks like decent winds up sort of here in what I call the Great Circle Route outside of Beaver Island. Um, and it looks like we're getting decent winds uh, over in kind of the Point Betsy area where things have been really calm today. Um, and we got, going back to the full picture here, a whole heck of a lot of the fleet. Um, sitting back here still between um, uh, Big Sable and Point Betsy you're just entering the Manitou so as I keep saying there's a lot of racing left to do I mean these guys have 112 nautical miles at five knots right now that's what you know 22 24 hours tomorrow night late they're getting in if conditions hold um, next thing I want to show is the forecast for tomorrow and um, uh, one thing I want to say is I think that this is doing a pretty admirable job. Maybe uh, uh, the models are doing a pretty admirable job of current conditions. Again, it's glass calm here on the straits, and that's reflected. It's very light through the Manitous. That's reflected. There's a little more breeze further south. That's reflected, and there's more breeze sort of in the northern edge of the lake. That's reflected also. So let's just sort of step through here, and we see the calm area going over the straits and staying over the straits. So it's going to be tough to finish tonight. Right, and still have more breeze on sort of the western shore of the lake. And by two o'clock in the morning, uh, we filled in just a teeny tiny bit up here uh, by the straits. Winds are still good on the western side of the lake. If this validates, right, you look good over here, really good. Um, light through the Manitou Passage, 
light through the Manitou Passage, light through the Manitou Passage. It's t I mean, it's tough. And consistently more breeze over here. If we believe the models, we believe that those guys on the left are going to do, do well in the great scheme of things, though. The question is, are they do giving more distance than they will gain in speed by being on the left? Especially as we get to tomorrow morning, it gets a little soft across the whole top of the lake tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock, we have a giant hole form where, <laughs> honestly, most of our fleet's going to be right there, right? They're going to be sort of uh, entering Gray's Reef tomorrow morning, kind of at best through the Manitou's. Uh, we're looking at very light winds in the northern third of the lake here. If there's any breeze, it's along this coast, along the um, northern coast, nor uh, the upper peninsula there. Um, fills in a little bit by two o'clock, a little bit more by three o'clock. We're okay by about five o'clock. Now, by about six o'clock here and fast forwarding through, what we start getting kind of like a really nice flow straight up the lake, more of a flow. This is the synoptic high pressure system. So this is the big picture high pressure, not a little lake oriented thing. We start getting some breeze from the backside of that out of the Southwest. And we really, you know, it's okay. It's eight knots. It's not, you know, blowing a gale by any means, but we finally get kind of some regular pressure without big holes in it. By the time we get to one o'clock, on Tuesday, oh boy, I hope we're all done by then. Um, you know, the breeze is eight or ten knots out of the southwest, and maybe even be channeling a little bit through the straits and blowing a little bit harder there. So, we're looking at another pretty light day tomorrow, I think. Um, and uh, I hope it's not as bad as the models think. And um, it looks to me like if I had to pick a route, it's easy to be an armchair quarterback, right? But if I had to pick a route, I would pick a route along the sort of Wisconsin shore up to the Upper Peninsula shore. Really tough to do, but uh, boy, I really like that route right now. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, though. It's sailboat racing, and there's um, you know over 100 miles to go for an awful, awful lot of boats here. Thanks for your time, and I'll talk to everyone tomorrow.